All right, man, Torture Talk. <laughs> Six o'clock show, man. You know what it is, man. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm sorry I had to cut the kids off, but uh, I got to get this thing going because I'm about to go eat. So, um, look, um, happy Thanksgiving, to everybody. So, today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, this is the end, the end, the end of Drake. And uh, we're going to get to it. And um, even though I talk a lot, I don't like when people lose everything and lose their career that they work so hard for. So I have to say that I don't like to see uh, people crash and burn. You know what I mean, I, even though I believe he, he did it to himself. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't like to see that from anybody because I'm not going to ever prey on somebody's downfall. Just not. Anyway, so let's get to it, man. This is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please to subscribe. If you're new here, let me work on your description today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. No, links ain't on the screen. I'm bugging. Uh, links in the description. You know, Cash App. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 13,000. So, I mean, over 12,000. Almost 13,000 subscribers in... Let me know where you from, too, man. They call me uh, King of the North. Let me know what kingdom you from. You know what I'm saying? So, look, we're going to get into it, man. We'll be back to discuss. All right, so let's go. You know, this comes from Fantastic Hip Hop. You know what it is. Let's get it. <laughs> now, just when it looked like Drake couldn't possibly hurt his reputation anymore, as he filed a whole lawsuit that was trying to take down Kendrick Lamar's diss track, Not Like Us, for supposedly having artificial streams, Drake has somehow managed to once again show that he is the bane of hip hop's very existence more than any other singular person ever has been. Because beyond accusing Kendrick Lamar and the label they both have deals with of promoting Kendrick's diss tracks over his to take down his image, even more than just the business, marketing, and promotion of Not Like Us, now Drake is going after the actual Not Like Us song itself in terms of everything from its cover art to its lyrics, as Drake is now trying to accuse UMG and Kendrick as a result of everything the track said and did, of defamation towards his character by allowing for the song to get the commercial release that it did despite everything it said against him. And now I still can't believe this, that this guy is 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 searching for, going for a defamation of character lawsuit, and he did some egregious things himself. I just, I just find that kind of fascinating that he would actually do that, and he would go after that. I mean, he do know that if you do something like that, that opens you up to scrutiny, and if... If someone others if other people lawyers get involved, that means that now they can investigate into you. But let's keep it going. With this, what's been made crystal clear about this situation now is that no matter what side you stand on, there is no escaping the reality of what this all means anymore. Because Drake has just shown who he really is, and even worse than anything else we have seen to this point, he is never coming back from this. And now before we go any further, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And so now when it comes to what Drake doing this awful move means for his career, despite some people trying to say that Drake was doing this to fight the music industry and that he was sticking up for the betterment of all artists with the first suit he filed, with this, it's clear more than ever that for those living in denial, that this was always and always will be about Kendrick Lamar and the outcome of their rap beef. Because what Drake is now doing is trying to claim that Kendrick Lamar just went way too far with the claims he made on Not Like Us and with other things in the track like the song cover itself. And then he is saying that UMG recklessly promoted a song that dismantled his character in a way that ignores the business practices and rules that they're supposed to follow. And again, I still can't believe this. <laughs> Yo, I still can't believe that this happened to him, bro. I'll be honest with y'all. I thought Kendrick was going to smoke him, but I didn't think he was going to smoke him this bad. I thought he was going to get smoked and then Drake was going to chill for a little bit and then bounce back. This guy got, he got demolished. He got, he got demolished so bad that he made the man go and file, trying to file a lawsuit against the song that's crazy work man oh my god you just browse through what this ridiculous suit is accusing umg and also implicitly kendrick of it's obvious that this is one of the biggest crocs of garbage that has ever been put on a legal document 
and that Drake is scrambling desperately to pull any sort of move that he can at this point to just change the outcome of this beef in some way, shape, or form. And this whole suit is even more ridiculous and damaging to hip-hop's very DNA than the last, and really in the entire history of not just rap beef, but really the genre as a whole. This may just be the weakest move we have ever seen from someone who has been considered a star, because they are now trying to frame everything that was thrown against them in a diss track as actual defamation of their character, and are now... <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, I've never seen nothing like the, you're like you literally losing using what he said in a song to try to say that <laughs> he he defamed you his defamation like I'm gonna file defamation of character because he 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 said things about me in that joint that it wasn't true it's like bro rappers do that all the time all the time rappers do it I'm trying not to yarn I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. But rappers do it all the time, man. I just don't get why you act as if like you you new to this. You know what I mean? Do it all the time. Saying that people like Kendrick and their label that has rights to the song should be punished for creating and distributing it. And now again, while Drake's claims that this song ruined his reputation and said all of these terrible things about him for no reason are really making Kendrick's songs age even better because this guy really is a master manipulator by trying to bring something like this to a court of this level. But regardless of where you stand, if you have any sort of critical thinking skills, that no matter how Drake frames it here and how the outcome of Not Like Us ultimately went and ended up affecting his career, before the beef even got to this place where Kendrick Lamar was making songs with lyrics like these, he told Drake even after he already began to bring up his family members' names in tracks he did like with Kendrick's wife on push-ups, to not get any more personal and take this beef further than it needs to go. And of course, Drake didn't just ignore this warning, but he went way over the line. And at the time, what was the most anticipated and hyped up moment in their entire back and forth with Drake's song Family Matters, which again, before Kendrick even threw any of the things out he did on Not Like Us. On this song, Drake said Kendrick's business partner Dave Free was the father of his son, and then he also accused Kendrick of doing some of the worst things a person can to their wife. All with absolutely no evidence or proof. And so with Drake throwing out these massive you know what I'm and he's been doing this, he's been doing this, displaying this type of behavior for a long time. And now it's all catching up with him. It's all catching up. It's crazy to see this. You went Kendrick literally warned you and told you not to do this. And you did it anyway. I know a lot of y'all saying, well, why does he have to listen to Kendrick? Why does Kendrick have to listen to Drake? Same thing. Personal insults that don't just infringe on Kendrick's life, but also on his close friends and entire family. One, two, three. Just to keep. I mean, whatever Kendrick Lamar did from this moment on, it's not like he stepped over a line that was never crossed, but he was just joining Drake in the place that he already banked on standing in to win this beef in the first place. But of course, as reality showed it for Drake, Kendrick was just too prepared for this and humiliated him in the way that we saw with disses that beyond every way Drake can put it. In their nature and based on the person Drake has shown he is through his own behaviors, are rooted in truth and are believable, and this is why with the will of all the people behind him, Kendrick Lamar won this thing no matter how Drake wants to frame it, and on Drake's end of all of this. I mean, the fact that he's not even accepting that Kendrick Lamar beat him at his own game, but because of it, he's willing to go as far as beyond just accusing the business side of this song for playing unfair legally, now he is directly putting the song under the microscope of the law and is acting like a victim when again in this moment, he was still releasing diss songs to respond to this track. He wouldn't have released the absolute disaster of a song like The Hard Part 6, which again, when we talk about crossing lines, okay, that's it- That's what I mean. You see how on The Hard Part 6, he takes Dave Free or Whitney's page and he puts it up on on the front of the album cover saying the heart emoji of Dave of her liking Dave Free or some uh, a post or something like come on bro come on you do dirty stuff too bro stop it
made fun of Kendrick Lamar for his own mother going through some awful things that I can't even speak about in this video when she was younger and again. Really on the playing field of what was said, what Drake did here was on the same level, but really even worse than anything that ever came out of Kendrick Lamar's mouth. But just because it didn't stick and these songs were so reviled, now Drake is gonna act like nothing ever happened and like he never threw rocks at other people in this beef. And so now, because Drake is trying to lie and deceive the public, his fans, the law, and everyone else about what happened in this beef, all to try and tear down the value and impact of Not Like Us. Really, when we look at the consequences of this, he is managing to do the most selfish thing he ever has, which is saying a lot as by making a suit like this and claiming the things he is saying. No matter how ridiculous they are, this petition is not just trying to go after Kendrick Lamar not like us at the end of the day, but it's now going after the very right of free speech and music and specifically pertaining to how rappers can go about crafting their songs and all of the bars that they want to say. And this and that right there is what most people are not talking about. This is, this is why it's not going to succeed. But this right here, he's literally, I believe in Canada, they don't have the same free speech laws and rights that we have here. But this guy is literally going after free speech in this country when it comes to songs and how people, their creative process. So, if he wins, let's say hypothetically Drake wins. Now all everybody that feels as though they're being defamed or people were talking about them in a song or whatever, they can go sue. And now all these people that's been making music, if all these rappers that been making battle music or whatever, they can literally get sued. Because they can say, "Well, you're just you're you're just you're just defaming my character. You're really doing something to me. This is this is this isn't right. This is what he this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. Because with what Drake is now claiming in terms of defamation due to the nature of what the song said and did, beyond just rewriting the rules of rap beef, Drake is really trying to rewrite the rules of hip hop and make it okay for any entitled and pathetic excuse of a rapper, or just celebrity who has a fragile ego, or in Drake's case, somebody who can't accept what happened in competition, to silence others' words. And now what a lot of people are going to see with this is that if Drake can try and go after Kendrick Lamar for a rap battle that he participated in just because he didn't like the outcome, that now using this as a reference, if a celebrity or another soft MC gets name dropped in a way that they don't like, or if they are criticized in a song, well maybe now they are going to try to go after a rapper who has decided to include their name in their lyrical canvases that they were creating to try and either collect a bag or just detract other rappers from doing things like this in the future. And I don't have to explain any further why you would see a problem with the precedent that this creates. I mean, we have already had enough problems that have tried to challenge just what rappers can say in their songs and how they can express themselves, and even with something like what happened with Drake's good friend, Young Thug. But Drake validating the fact that rap lyrics can be this powerful to the law. Someone who Drake has called such a close friend could have been affected by this negatively, and I am sure going forward, since Drake has been seen as a quintessential figure in the music business, with him setting this precedent that lyrics are this I'm just saying, man, I, sometimes I look at people's uh, mannerisms, and I can tell you right now, I know Drake's a cornball, just off of his mannerism. He wants to be, all these years, I can look at him and tell, that he is so out of place and he don't even realize it. He wants to be the coolest guy and he just don't, he just doesn't have it. You know what I'm saying? Once a lame, always a lame. Powerful and that because of this, Kendrick and whoever participated in putting this song out needs to be tried. They're gonna try to use what he said here at any time it is convenient for them to connect people to things that they said in their music to push whatever outcome they need in their favor. And this is what is so problematic about what Drake is doing. Because beyond Drake's own crash out and loss, he is allowing rap lyrics to now be looked at within the lens that only can harm every single person who has ever written a bar down. But if we get to a point where rappers feel like they can't say everything they want to or like they're gonna get in trouble for expressing themselves through their words because of this, well then Drake is just speeding up the demise of hip hop as an art form because in an era where so many other forms of entertainment have become limited due to the loss of agency and free will that many creatives have within them, 
What Drake is doing could make rap no different, and the fact that this is where we're at, where one of the biggest rappers of the last 15 years is now willing to put in danger the very art form that made him successful and famous, all because he didn't like the fact that he just got outperformed and humiliated in a rap beef. Because at the end of the day, this is all that happened. And if the roles were reversed and somehow Drake ended up winning this thing, we know he would have never done any of this and nobody else would have ever even thought about it because this is not what MCs do at the most fundamental level. That's 100% facts. Most MCs do not do this at that level. It's pathetic. It really is. Overall, it has never been more clear that with the rise Drake has had and with the fact that after everything he has been through that his career has led to this. I mean, I know this is a big statement, but looking at all this now, it's clear that we really made the wrong guy famous by letting Drake get this big, as the more he has stayed in hip-hop, the more he has contorted and distorted what rap means in his own weird and strange ways. But again, at this point, with what everything he has done now, at least we know that he will never be looked at the same again after this. And so now with all this said, let me know. What do you think of this entire situation with Drake and this second suit? And do you think that this is the weakest move made by a rapper in the history of hip hop? I yeah, so. Make sure y'all go follow Fantastic Hip Hop. This is something that's uncharted territory. And I think if he goes through with it, and I think if he wins, there's going to be a big shift in rap and even if he wins, it's, it's, it doesn't look good for him if he wins because people are going to say, bro, you took somebody to court off of a rap beef, bro. You said that he defamed you. It was defamation of character. You, you, you participated in the rap beef, so you can't say that he defamed you or was defamation when you were saying things too. You can't. But he's going to go along with it and he's going to go past it and people going to do it. They're going to give him a pass. I've seen people saying stuff like, oh, it's just, he should be doing this. I've seen it. I've seen it. But it is what it is. If if uh, free speech holds up, then nine times out of ten, nothing's going to happen. So, hey, man, y'all have yourself a good night. I might not be, uh, y'all might not see me in the morning on Friday. Uh, maybe y'all might see one episode eight in the morning on Friday. Good Friday. I don't know yet. Um, cause I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be eating, having fun. All right. Y'all have yourself a good, good night. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah.